Welcome back, everybody. Time to figure out. Is it just a statue? I think it looks like it's alive. I think it's a statue. I think I did all this, this hubbub and this freak out over nothing. Has that statue always been there? Looks like something was praying and then melted away. I don't, I don't, I do not remember that statue. Come and get it, come on. Everybody come this way. Oh my god, that's a lot. Yeah. Well, where am I at? Where am I at? Get your weak ass out of here. I am the poise god, not you. Jesus Christ. You too, Katana boy. Sit down. Oh, God. Could you imagine dealing with that shit in PvP? Like, what an absolutely obnoxious spell. I ain't letting you cast anything, dude. He had some kind of crystal arm around, too. Like, that plus the, uh... If you had to deal with that thing, plus the, the crystal what's-it-called, um... Little orbs that fly around you. And then, on top of that, like, a crystal soul spear, dude. Oh my god. I do not want to imagine trying to fight a sorcerer in PvP on this mod. It would be absolute ass. One-handed Irithyll. Really hoping there's another bonfire close by. Maybe by the three angels? Stop this. I don't know what Quintus's game plan was there, but that did not work out. Automatically deflects spells? Dude. That is... That's... I mean, sure, you're, you're cursed, but that... That seems borderline cheating. You just walk at somebody and all spells bounce off of you? That also sounds terrifying as somebody who enjoys casters. Right up here. Up here? Bonfire? Well, they're still there. I should be able to take them. Oh, I don't know. These guys are these guys are a mixed bag. Like sometimes you can just obliterate them. Other times they just gang up on you. And ah, here we go. Nice. I was like, there's got to be a bonfire close, man. It's been it's been a while. All right. So that's done. Um. Where do we go from here? More vitality? I guess I could take endurance up to 40, just because why the hell not?
Oh my god, that's a lot. Oh god, no, they come in here? Jesus Christ! Panic logs! And panic logs save the day. I'm satisfied with that outcome. for max stab. I'm getting a silly amount of souls. Like, I just leveled up and I'm already up to 216,000. So each of them is worth 30,000. There's the final one for the slab. Pillars. Um, isn't there another? I think, I think there's like a, it's usually like a divine blessing or something up here. Destin, Twinkling, and there's my boy. I need you to drop your armor for me. Thick. I'm the thickest dude. I look really thick. Will I look just as goofy if I switch the head out? Where is the... This is those, uh, <laughs> the 40k shoulders right here. It's like, sup? My character exemplifies gains. I am gains incarnate. I have all the gains. I'm the biggest, most gainy person that has ever existed. I mean, I'm not. You know, I'm not wearing giants anymore, but now that I'm looking at it, I do, I do look rather goofy. Uh, so what, what is the, the toss-up here? I get better magic and fire from giants. This is better curse resist. 
Um, less dark resist. Is it the same same thing? Yeah. Fourteen point four. Point four. So it's all very very minimal increases. I don't know. Maybe I keep the the giant. I don't know. You know what? We'll we'll rock it for a little bit. I mean, Gunders doesn't look too bad, but it does make me look like I got a little bit of thickness in the ass. Let's, we, we've come this far for it. Let's use it for a little bit. We'll see how it feels. And if I decide that I look just too goddamn goofy, we'll switch it out. No, hang on. There's usually a thing back, it's back here. bone shard. Alright, that should be the final shard, I think. I'm not 100%, but I think I can... No, nope, can I not do that? Nope, can't go that way. Don't mind me, I'm just making my way over to the princes. I mean, Lothric, or not Lothric, Lorien. Lorien's armor is pretty dope. Maybe I could do with that. I mean, I just, I don't know. I look comically big, you know? Even if it matches the mask better, I look like, do, 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 do. I look like a child that put on like a, a linebacker uniform for the NFL. I almost missed this. You have to be very, very quiet. guys are not fucking around. I'm really bad at parrying spears, but I might have to. I like this, though. This actually, this, before this just kind of felt like, oh man, it's this part. This actually feels like, like a final assault, you know? Like if you were to actually go after someone who was the Lord of the Kingdom, you, know, you would expect that you'd have to deal with at least this much bullshit. Not more, probably more actually. But it definitely feels better than it used to. It used to just be, oh, hang on, what's that? That's a regular invader, I think. Let me get it, pal.
can't get a clear picture of that one. It looks... No, is it just a regular Lothric Knight? I guess it is. He looks... Maybe it's just the distance, but he looks smaller and more invader-like. are there? Do they just spawn perpetually? There's another chest there. I need to get that. Um, how do I even do this, dude? Is that like poison knives or something? through divine blessings like they're freaking candy soul geyser just sploosh fire soul spears that pierce and hit rapidly so is this like a this is like the the torrent ability except i'm doing it with a bunch of soul spears that sounds disgusting and overpowered God, please stop. Screw it. Time to just count on what I'm good at. Always count on a pancake to get the job done. Man, if I get up there and there's like five more nights. Facing fuck ups, but that. Whew. How are you gonna miss your range with a spear, but put yourself into the range of a fully charged R2 from a great hammer? Probably is. Just a normal chest. Oh, okay. And now we'll take this on down and I'll grab that bonfire. That's that's right, this is the double one where I have to go down and then down to get a, a slab. Assuming it's still a slab down there, it might be something else.
just a ridiculous amount of souls. I know that's one of the... I mentioned it in the other episode, but that's one of the big changes they did with uh, 1.35. Is you don't just get... Because like, the way the Champion's Covenant works right now is it just doubles your soul switch. You know, even though there's a bunch of extra enemies and they're, like, kind of dangerous, it doesn't matter because I'm getting double souls, which is why I'm, you know, ridiculously leveled up to a high level. Um, and the new mod in particular, let me see, I can probably find it. Um, one point, just for those curious... I was reading it earlier. Um, let's see. 1.35, change log. Let me see change logs. Where the hell the change logs at? Docs. Um, change logs. Nope. Oh, you know what? Here, it was in the, uh, they posted it in the Discord. Let me go there. Go to Announcements. Alright, um... So, Champion's Pact is now split into five options, each giving an extra 20% souls. Curse of Pride adds additional enemies in the world. Curse of Wrath, enemies will gain 1% damage per second after combat begins. Curse of Gluttony, FP and Stamina Consumption is increased by 50%. Curse of Vulnerability reduces Absorption by 50%. And then Curse of Agony, lose 10 plus 0.5% of your health every second. And I think the one that, the 1.64 is essentially just the, the Pride and the Wrath, but the other ones sound like ass. Imagine just perpetually losing health all the time. And then and cutting your absorption in half, and... Oh my god, yeah. So, needless to say, I, I was not... I just, quite simply, I wasn't interested in updating to that. That sounds absolutely terrible to me. The the other curses. I mean, it'd probably be a little bit more balanced if I was going through and only had the 40% the bonus, but, like, some of those, I'm just like, ugh. Why would, why would I want to do this? I mean, I guess, you know, different strokes for different strokes. Different strokes for different okay. folks. Fucking words. Um, but yeah, constant perpetual health loss, all that stuff. I'm just like, ah, uh, I don't know about all that. Fifteen plus ten, absolutely delicious. Alright, um, sorry, what, 23? I think we got enough time to dunk all over Lothric. Pretty sure we got time. I was thinking about tossing on, uh, lightning, but... I don't, I don't know what the lightning resist or the resistances of uh, Lorien are. Lightning might be better, but hard to say. You know, with all the weapons and everything that's been added in this mod, I still think one of the things that I have found myself enjoying the most is just the new bonfire placements. The new bonfire placements are just awesome. Just absolutely awesome. Like that one, it's, you know, it's right before the boss, and it's a very short run to, to Lorien. Great spot. Actually, didn't the other one have better fire resist on it? Did. I'm not that worried about it. Let's just uh, let's buff it up. Oh no, poor soul. Oh my god, that smash. It's 
stop that. I got stopped by a chair. pulled that off like he died in the middle of the res like Lorian's health was in the process of refilling and I killed Lothric that is that is definitely a first for me at least but it's funny I can get wrecked you nerd all right well with them done we got our old pal uh well we got the DLC of course and then we got our old pal nameless king Me upgrade. Beautiful. This Lord's Bellow. Massive damage and knocking foes backwards. Chime used by Gwyn. Huh. Neat. Well, either way, uh, we'll wrap this one up here. I think debating i guess we could just make our way towards nameless king next yeah we'll we'll do that get him knocked down out of the way so anyway stay tuned nameless coming on up and i'll catch you guys then